Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexa in Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths E. We have started our discussion of inverse trigonometric functions in our last session. Let us have few more problems based on the formulas which we have discussed. What are the formulas which we have seen in the last of the session? That is sin inverse x plus sin inverse y, cos inverse plus cos inverse y and the third one is tan inverse plus tan inverse y. That is a basic uh, principle to solve today's session. Okay? Now see here. The question given here it is he is asking us to prove sin inverse 4 by 5 plus sin inverse 7 by 25 is equal to sin inverse 117 by 125. Right? We can do it in two different ways. Either we are let a, either by assuming this as a and b or else we can directly substitute in the formula. Okay? First let us do by substituting in the formula. Right? Sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to sin inverse x into 1 minus y square plus y into under root 1 minus x square. Right? Shall we substitute in it? Now see here, what is the x here? Let us write it sin inverse 4 by 5 plus sin inverse 7 by 25 is equal to sin inverse x is this and y is this, isn't it? 4 by 5 into under root 1 minus 7 by 25 ka square 49 by 625 plus y 7 by 25 under root 1 minus x is 16 by 25 isn't it 4 by 5 whole square is 16 by 25 isn't it now let us write it let us simplify that's it after simplifying we will directly get the answer but the simplification should be exact, do not just write whatever you want, is it okay? Now say here, under root 625 minus 49 by 625 plus 7 by 25 into under root 25 minus 16 by 25, is it right? Sin inverse of 4 by 5 into under root 625 minus 49, that is nothing but 576 divided by 625 plus 7 by 25 into under 25 minus 16 is 9 by 25. That's it. Only the thing you have to remember is simplification. Is it right? Yes. 4 by 5 into square root of 576 is 24. Square root of 625 is 25. Right? Are you able to understand? square root of 9 is 3, square root of 25 is uh, 5, 5, is it right? Now see here, sin inverse 24 4 is 48, 96, 96 divided by 25 1 is 25 5 is 125 plus 7 3 is 21 by 25 5 is 125. Now tell me directly, what is LCM here? 125. If I add 96 plus 21, what is that I am going to get? Tell me. That is 6 plus 1 is 7, 9 plus 2 is 11 by 125. Are we getting the answer? Right? Is it clear? What is that we have done? We did only this, remembering this formula and substituting in it. Is it clear? Fine. Once again, if you check here, sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is always sin inverse x into 100 of 1 minus y square plus y into 100 of 1 minus x square. Just we have to substitute the value of 4 by 5 instead of x and 7 by 25 instead of y. Just simplifying, we get the answer. Is it clear? Or else, you can write it separately. This has a, this has b. Fine. Uh, shall we do uh, the same in uh, that method? Let us do it in a rough way. Let us assume for this triangle, uh, sin inverse of 4 by 5. Opposite is 4, hypotenuse is 5. Let us assume it to be A. Then adjacent is 5 square minus 4 square is 3. Here, sin A is 4 by 5, cos A is 3 by 5. Is it right? Uh, for the second ratio, for the angle B. Adjust, I mean, opposite is 7, hypotenuse is 25. What will be adjacent? 25 square is 625, minus 7 square is 49. 
625 minus 49 is 576. 576 root is 24. Here sin b is 7 by 25, cos b is 24 by 25. Right? Here there is sin inverse on the right hand side of a given question. Then what is that we have to do? We have to find sin of a plus b that is nothing but sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. If you assume here what is sin a 4 by 5 cos b 24 by 25 cos a 3 by 5 sin b 7 by 25. If you observe here uh, that is same as this 4 by 5 into 24 by 25, 4 by 5, 24 by 25, 7 by 25, 3 by 5, 7 by 25, 3 by 5. Are we getting the same thing? After simplifying what did we get here? 117 by 125. This is nothing but our sin of a plus b. Therefore, a plus b is sin inverse of 117 by 125. Is it clear? Did you understand? Right? We can do in different forms either by using the direct formula or else by simplifying each and every time using a basic conventional method. Is it clear? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let's do. Now see here, what is the question given? He is asking us to prove that tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 8 is equal to pi by 4. Right? Here we have three different inverse trigonometric functions that is we have three different angles here. Right? Do we know the value of tan inverse 1 by 2? We don't know. We don't even know 1 by 5, we don't even know 1 by 8. Yes or no? Then how to do? Shall we use the formula? Let us use the formula. What is the formula of tan? Tell me. We have the formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y as tan inverse. If you don't remember the formula, at least if you recall the formula of tan of a plus b. What is tan of a plus b? Tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. Similarly, here also x plus y by 1 minus x y. Is it clear? Did you understand? That is how we have to solve. Is it clear? Hope everyone remember this formula. Let us simplify the first two terms, then let us add the third term to the answer. Okay, shall we do that? Hmm, let's do. Now tell me tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 5. What it will become? Tan inverse. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 8 will be as it is. Did you understand? Once again see here this is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. I have simplified I am using the formula for only first two terms. This is x and this is y. Here it is x plus y by 1 minus x y. I have left the third term as it is. Okay. Now let us simplify this. This will be tan inverse phi 2 is at 10 phi plus 2 whole divided by phi 2 is at 10 10 minus 1 by 10. 10 10 get cancelled here plus tan inverse 1 by 8. Do not forget to write this tan inverse phi plus 2 is 7 10 minus 1 is 9. Is it clear? Now again we have to use the formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Let us write it. What is the formula of, again, of that again? x plus y by 1 minus xy. x plus y by 1 minus xy. Is it clear? Let us uh, simplify that. What it will become? Tan inverse <coughs> 9 and 8. LCM of 9 and 8 is 72. Here 8 7 are 56 plus 9 1s are 9 whole divided by again 8 9s are 72 is LCM 72 minus 7 by 72 72 72 get cancelled that will be tan inverse 56 plus 9 that is 65 72 minus 7 that is also 65 65 65 get cancelled I will get it as tan inverse 1. When do we get uh, 1 in tan inverse, I mean tan, tan pi by 4. Therefore, these both get cancelled. The answer is pi by 4. Is it clear? Hence, 
proved. Did you understand? Shall we check it again? The question given here it is tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 8 is equal to pi by 4. Uh, I do not know the formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y plus tan inverse z. There is a formula but we do not remember that kind of uh, heavy brainstorm things. It is better to remember up to tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. What is it? That is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y. First of all, I will apply this formula to the first two terms. Then I will get a fixed term. Then I will apply the formula for these two terms. Then I will get it as tan inverse 1 which is nothing but pi by 4. Is it clear? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let us do. Now see here the question given here it is prove that 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cos inverse 5 by 13 is equal to cos inverse 323 by 325. How to solve it? Right? We know uh, the formula of sin inverse plus sin inverse or else cos inverse plus cos inverse. Here there is something what? 2 sin inverse. Whatever it might be, let us assume it to be A. That is, let us assume sin inverse 3 by 5 as A cos inverse 5 by 13 as B. Okay? Then what it will become? It will become as 2A minus B. Right? Then what is this 2A minus B? How to solve it? Right? We will substitute the, I mean we will apply cos. Then that will become cos 2A minus B. Why do we apply cos? Because there is cos inverse on the right hand side. Right? Cos of A minus B. What is the formula? Cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Is that right? Here it is cos 2A. Here it is sin 2A. What is the formula of cos 2A? Tell me. That is 1 minus 2 sin square A. You can write in any way. You can even write uh, 2 cos square A minus 1 also. However, you have to find both sin A and cos A for this here. Here it is 2 sin A cos A into sin B. What all the values we have to find now? We have to find the value of sin A cos B cos A sin B. Is it like? Uh, let us solve uh, from this. Okay. Now let us draw two triangles for angle A and one more for angle B. In angle A, opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite is 3, hypotenuse is 5. Right? Then what is the adjacent here? 5 square minus 3 square. Hope most of the numbers are repeating. Yes or no? You can remember 25 minus 9 is 16 which is 4. From here I can write sin a as 3 by 5 and cos a as 4 by 5 isn't it similarly for angle b adjacent is 5 hypotenuse is 13 then what about the opposite 169 minus 25 that is nothing but r 144 which is nothing but r 12 then sin b is 12 by 13 cos b is 5 by 13 is it clear? Let us substitute all of them here. Did you understand? The only thing, the only thing you have to remember is how to simplify, how to simplify. That is it. Clear? Now see here, 1 minus 2 sin A, 3 by 5 whole square cos B, 5 by 13 plus 2 sin A, 3 by 5 cos A, 4 by 5 sin B, 12 by 13. Is it clear? Now see here, 5 square is 25, 25 minus 3 square is 9, 9 to size 18 by 25 into 5 by 13 plus 2, 3, 4, 12. 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 4 is a 12, 12 into 12 is 144 divided by 5, 5 is a 25. 25 into 13. Once again, let's cross check. 2 3 is a 6, 6 4 is a 24. 24 into 12. Do not uh, get confused. Is it clear? Now let us simplify. LCM is 25 into 13, that is fixed. 25 minus 18, how much is it? 2 5 7. 7 5 is a 35 plus 24 into 12, how much is it? 288, that is. 
288 divided by 25 into 13 is 325 therefore my answer is 323 divided by 325 what is this this is the value of cos of 2a minus b from that i will get it as 2a minus b as cos inverse 323 by 325 that is what he asked us to prove right did you understand these are different different kinds of problems in inverse trigonometric functions shall we move on to the next problem let's do now see here this is one more kind of different problem uh, when do we get pi by 2 in our formula in inverse function that is either sin inverse x plus cos inverse x right or else tan inverse x plus cot inverse x or secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x if you observe here here there is sin inverse x but there is no cos inverse x fine can we convert this 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 into cos inverse shall we do that let us try now see here here let us simplify only this particular term 2 tan inverse x 1 by 3 is equal to x let us assume that is it clear did you understand why did i take that that is i know the formula of sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to i mean sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 let us check whether we can simplify that in terms of cos inverse or not okay let us do now this will become uh, tan inverse 1 by 3 is equal to x by 2 tan x by 2 is equal to 1 by 3 right do we know the formula of cos 2 theta yes right cos 2x is equal to 1 minus tan square x by 1 plus tan square x this is cos 2x then what is the value of cos x 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2 shall we substitute the value of tan x by 2 here shall we now let us substitute and simplify what we will get cos x is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 whole square by 1 plus 1 by 3 whole square that is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 9 1 plus 1 by 9 lcm is 9 in the numerator it will become 9 minus 1 here in the denominator 9 is lcm 9 plus 1 is it clear now let us do <coughs> cos x is equal to 9 minus 1 is here 9 9 get cancel 9 minus 1 is 8 9 plus 1 is 10 is it right if you observe here we can cancel 2 4 za 2 5 za which is nothing but cos x is equal to 4 by 5 x can be written as cos inverse 4 by 5 is it clear can i substitute this here right x is nothing but this particular value if you observe right substitute in 1 substitute in 1 therefore that will be sin inverse 4 by 5 plus x what is x here x is nothing but cos inverse 4 by 5 sin inverse x plus cos inverse x what is the value what is the formula of it that is pi by 2 is it clear we are solving different different kinds of problems right everything can be solved in different different ways the only thing you have to remember is how to solve until unless you practice more and more times you can't solve uh, in different different methods it's okay you can remember any one of the method but everything is important this kind of simplification is very useful in a previous session such as in differentiation or integration kind of higher level subjects is it clear fine let us solve more problems of inverse trigonometric functions in our next session this is for today thank you